Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to change the colour of multiple objects in DaVinci Resolve. This tutorial follows on from a video previously published on this channel called How to change the colour of an object in DaVinci Resolve. The link for this tutorial will be found in the video description below. Inside my edit window of DaVinci Resolve, we have a video clip of a red bucket on a floor next to two different doors. The door in the top right corner has had its original brown shade adjusted to a brighter orange. The door in the top left corner has maintained its original colour. What if we wanted to change the colour of the door in the top left corner so that it is different to that of the door in the top right corner? such as making the top left corner door purple, for example. With the video edit selected on the edit timeline, I'm going to left click on the color tab at the bottom of DaVinci Resolve. To ensure that your video preview is bigger and clearer, you can disable the gallery and timeline sections in your color window. Left click on these once. To zoom into your video, you can use the scroll button on your mouse device, scroll upwards to zoom in, and scroll downwards to zoom out. Non-Mac users can hold in control and scroll upwards to shift the video clip down so that you can see the top side of the video better. Hold control and scroll downwards to go to the bottom part of your video. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. A zoom setting can be applied underneath the gallery tab in the top left corner. Fit ensures that the whole video displays on screen. Go to your node representing the video clip that you are editing. We can see a rectangular shape with a highlighted door with an orange shade added in the top side here, reflecting its main position in the video canvas. The door surroundings are in grey, illustrating that these aren't selected, such as the floor and the red bucket. If I preview the video, we can see that the orange shade always remains on the top right door. So how come the shade does not alter on the door on the top left side as well? If I stop the video and go to window below the video preview, we can see that an outline has been drawn around this particular door. And previewing the whole video, we can see that this particular door in the top right side remains within this white frame, which has been drawn around this part of the video content. The object that you wish to change the color of should not cross this border. And as we can see here, when we pause the video, the door on the left side is not included within this frame. Hence why the color effect is only applied to the right door. So how can we make a selection of this door on the left and change the colour to purple. Go to your node representing the video clip that you are editing, right click on this, go to add node and add parallel. You should now have two nodes altogether connected to what's called the parallel mixer, combining both video nodes to produce a final colour correction effect. The original node that we had featuring the orange door remains at the top and the new node featuring no color correction is below. In this second node we wish to highlight the door on the left so that we can change its color. With this node selected with a red outline, go to your qualifier tool underneath the video preview. Select picker, left click on the object that you wish to change the color of. We can see in the second node now that the door on the left has been highlighted. Obviously, since the color of the door is similar to the original previous door that we changed the color of in the last tutorial, we need to make sure that this second door on the top left side is isolated. So how do we draw a similar frame as we did around the first door? With this new node selected, I'm going to go to Window and to ensure that a flexible selection is made of the door that I wish to change the color of, I'm going to go down and select the curve tool. With this tool selected, I'm going to return to the video preview. The mouse cursor should look like the end of a pen now. Left click once on screen and a white circle should appear with a line coming from this following your mouse cursor. 
Let's click again to complete a whole line and do this around the object that you wish to change the color of. Note how that you can also draw these lines outside of the original DaVinci Resolve video frame. Once you have surrounded the object, left click once again on the first circle that you drew with this curve tool to make a connection and a rotation tool should appear inside the center of this highlighted area, which you can left click and drag the cursor around to make any necessary rotations. Should you wish to stretch the frame out further, you can left click on the white circles which appear around the frame itself, hold the mouse button down and drag these, letting go of the points where you are happy for the selection to be made. Or to create further modification points, you can left click on the line itself, hold the mouse button down and drag this away also. We can see on the second node in our nodes window that the door on the left is selected and the door on the right only remains selected in the original node. Now to change the color of the second door. Inside color wheels, I'm going to go to offset. Using the circle which appears in the middle of the rainbow ring, I'm going to drag this towards the blue shade. Note how this circle isn't next to the purple shade of the rainbow ring, but the color of the door changes to purple on screen anyway, due to the mix of color shades with that that you are applying from the color wheels and the color of the contents which you are modifying on screen. Part of the door, however, remains in its original color state. To select other parts of the object that you wish to change the color of, return to your qualifier and go to select the picker tool with the addition symbol in the bottom right corner. Go back up to your video preview and left click on the part of the content which wasn't highlighted when you changed the color, such as the right side of the door here. Note how this selection affects the existing selection made of the door and part of the new purple shade is lost. With this pick a plus tool selected still, we can left click on parts of the object which have not been highlighted and colored with the new shade. Click as many times as you want to until you are satisfied with the new color of your object or subject. Returning the playhead on the video preview to the beginning of the video clip, I'm going to zoom in so we can see this new purple door clearly, changing the zoom percentage from 35 to 100 and scrolling up. If I scroll through this video clip using the playhead to the left here, we can see at the early stages of this video clip that the purple shade does not show on all sections of this top left door. And so with the color picker tool still selected with the plus symbol, I'm going to left click on the sections which don't appear purple again. Repeat this process throughout the whole video preview so that the new color shade is successfully applied to the object in the entire video clip. Coming towards the midsection of this video, we can see the edge of this purple shade appearing around the side of the door. And going to the window tab once more, we can see that this is because the door has gone beyond the frame which we initially drew. If I zoom out once again to about 50% and drag the white frame line outwards more, the whole door appears purple again. I must ensure that this frame does not go too close to the other door as we want both doors to each have a different color. Continuing with the video preview now. Again, there is another section where this stands out. And so with the color picker tool still selected with the plus symbol, I'm going to left click on the sections which don't appear purple again. And an additional color correction has been successfully applied to a different object inside a video clip. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.